We are all going to die, no matter how much you deny, it's a fact, not a lie. Death is near, do you have any fear? People talk about it all the time, but do you even hear? What happens when the reminders go through your ear? Death is a destroyer of all pleasures. It takes away the value of all of your materialistic things and treasures. We know that this life is just a test. That's why our behavior should be at its very best. We need to seek knowledge and get closer to our Lord. Many people grow up practicing Islam, but then they get bored. They turn their heads without any heed. They feel no remorse when they commit a bad deed. They don't care about the people in need. They don't care about the rest of the Muslims who constantly bleed. These are not the Muslims that are on my needs. These people are misguided and lost. They say they want Jannah, but in the end it will be their loss. This dunya is just a bridge that we need to cross. Jannah has a price. It's called sacrifice. Soon they will have so much regret because this worldly life everyone will forget. I pray to Allah that we are not led astray because I'm sure all of us want to be shaded on judgment day. We need to realize what's right in front of our eyes. This dunya is filled with deceit and lies. The angel of death can take your life anywhere. And you can tell me that's not fair, but that's just how life is. You can die from anything, including rare diseases. The point is Allah can take your life whenever He wills. Doesn't matter how much money you have, you won't need those dollar bills. All you're taking to your grave are your actions and your deeds. Do you think Allah will be pleased? Do you think your good deeds will be heavy on the scale? Everyone will be judged, male and female. Will you pass or will you fail? Every time you follow a desire, you're getting closer to the fire. Unless you repent to Allah who does not tire from forgiving you. So don't prefer dunya over deen. Do you think your sins aren't being seen? Allah is always watching and the angels are always writing. Just remember that next time you're fighting or backbiting. Don't chase after this world because it's only temporary. Aren't you scared of hell? Don't you think it's scary? But you won't be that scared to depart if Allah is in your heart. And only Allah knows what's inside. He sees what you reveal and He knows what you hide. So fear the day when the earth will collide and pray to Allah that in Jahannam you won't abide. Allah is always by your side to so put away your pride. All of us make mistakes but if you repent sincerely, inshallah Allah will let it slide. So make sure that Allah is the one who you obey. For this life is not meant for fun and play. One of the best times to worship Allah is at night, when there is no one else in sight, when it is only you and the one who made you, you and the one who never betrayed you. Turn back to your Creator and don't say you'll worship Him later. You don't know when you will go. No one is promised tomorrow. Save yourself the sorrow. Think about the time when you will be buried six feet under the ground, when your heart will start to pound, when you will be startled by the slightest sound, when your thoughts will be going round and round, when you will be questioned about everything you used to do, when you will be questioned about the people that used to follow you, and also about the people you used to follow. Will they benefit you when that hollow grave swallows you? That's why we need to have righteous friends, because they will be with you even after your life ends. Once you're in the ground, there will be no second chance, no redo. Once your soul is taken, you will be forsaken so forget yolo because in the grave you will be solo maybe right now your iman is low you can change that take it slow now i'm not guaranteeing you have a lot of time listen carefully to my rhymes you never know when you will leave but dying won't be a problem if you truly believe but you shouldn't worry as much about death as you should the state in which you will die because no one can save you from your grave but what will happen when you're inside for we are only made of clay and on that day many people will cry tears that won't dry Think Think about the day when you will be resurrected and you will rise and you'll see all these people and realize we are smaller than flies. And the scary thing is, only the true believers will attain the ultimate prize. Whoever does an Adam's weight of good will see it. But if you want to keep doing bad, then so be it. But you'll have no one to blame. This life is not a game. You act like you can handle Jahannam, yet you can't even bear a single flame. You'll have so much shame. But you got what you wanted, that dunya fame. Was it worth it? Remember to lower your gaze for better days. Remember to increase your sujood, it will lighten your mood and don't be rude. Especially to your parents who made you who you are. They are more precious than any gold, silver or a million dinars. And also for them, death is not far. So serve them every day and be careful how you speak to them, watch what you say. And make sure you pray for them because one day they won't be there. You will see their empty chair, so help your family to prepare. When you turn to the Quran, you can't go wrong. Also try to increase your fasting, the rewards will be everlasting. Remember Allah, remember Salah, remember the Sunnah, remember the Ummah, remember your grave, remember that you are only a slave, remember your deen, remember to stay clean. 
I want you to really think about everything I said because soon you will be on your deathbed. Take some time now to pray for the dead. And I'm not trying to freak you out, I'm just being real. Imagine if the next thing you ate was your last meal. Allah is the most forgiving, so change your life now while you're still living. Make sure your intentions are sincere. The end is near and the goal is clear. Remember death and stay steadfast because you don't know which breath will be your last.